Hi, and I want to first of all thank you for all the amazing birthday wishes today. It's been a great day. I've been here in Newport, Oregon, and I think for the very first time in my life today, I got to go see a lighthouse. And unfortunately, I don't think you can see it, but it's off in the distance right now. I've always loved lighthouses, and here's why. This is going to be a stretch, and it's going to be kind of weird, but I've always looked at God as the lighthouse in my life and in the life of others. As you know, I talk a lot about being in the darkness and then going through difficult times. And what the lighthouse was designed for was for these captains of these ships to be out there in the middle of the night and they could see the light from the lighthouse and that would help them navigate their ship, their life if you will, even better, but also let them know how to avoid danger. For me and personally, that has been God my entire life. When I've struggled in the darkness, I just would look for the light. My dad would always say it like this, and I loved it. May God rest his soul. He would say, you know, when, uh, when you're in that tunnel, just look for the light. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. And what he meant is when you're going through difficult times, when the things seem very dark, just keep looking for the light. It will appear. And then there's that sense of peace and that sense of hope. And that's what the lighthouse was all about for the captain of these ships. That's what God has always been for me. As uh, today I turned 53 years old, and I know I don't look any more than 52 and a half. Uh, I, my goal for this next decade, my goal for especially this next year, is that I will be a light in a world that is quite frankly oftentimes filled with darkness. I've got a lot of work to do, to be honest, <laughs> a lot of work to do. Uh, I tend to be a glass half empty guy and my heart's greatest desire is this year to become the glasses half full, to be that guy that when people are around they sense the light, that light that God pours into the, the lives of others. A light that helps guide others, a light that gives peace and hope to others. And that's my greatest desire. So if you want to pray for me in 2020, just pray that Tony Russell will become a brighter light. That's my goal for all of us. Thank you again for all your birthday wishes. And may we all be a very bright light.